Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to another uh, episode of Trapper Forever. We are uh, spent most of the day uh, hanging some snares. Got another dozen out or so, and uh, now we uh, had a little bit of daylight left, so thought I'd set or check one bait site here. So first snare I come to looks like we got a coyote in it. So we shall go check them out. Oh, this one, this one is still alive, so looks like he got far, or got caught far back, so I'm going to have to dispatch him, and uh, I'll uh, check the other snares, and uh, we'll see what else we can pick up. I'll give you a look at him after I dispatch him. Well, folks, uh, there's that coyote, I dispatched him. And uh, the reason he uh, was still alive, he got caught uh, really far back here, so I, uh, not under the uh, throat, but closer into the muscle, so didn't cut off the carotid on him. So got a few more uh, snares to check here before it gets dark, so we will get at it. Maybe you can pick something else up. Well, everyone, uh, second snare in this location second catch. Looks like we picked up uh, a little red fox here, so yeah, he uh, got caught before the snow, so we shall continue on. Um, remove him, and uh, looks like there's a coyote coming, checking out the fox here on this trail, so we'll get it reset, and uh, it's the second fox of the year, and we shall continue on. Well, uh, good morning everyone. It's uh, Trapper Forever here. We are uh, on the uh, snare line. Uh, this spot, I, uh, I call it Jackpine Express because it's pretty much, uh, that's all we got here is Jackpine. So, we got another red fox here which, uh, not too enthused with, but uh, oh well, nothing you can do. You can't uh, keep them from uh, coming into the snares here, so we'll uh, get him out of here. It's a beautiful day out here today. Uh, temperature is going to be in the pluses today, so. an early start today so which is nice for a change ah, this thing's twisted up but good got it wrapped around there we go so. yeah this site's uh, a little bit trash so I'm gonna have to uh, move the uh, ram up the trail a little bit so Uh, quick links to uh, connect all my tethers. I hear some ravens in the background. Hopefully, they're uh, not into uh, maybe. Hopefully, they're into the bait, not into the any catch I have there. So there, good for another another kick at the cat, as they say. So. Anyway, we'll, uh, nice little red. Unfortunately, uh, like I said, not uh, targeting uh, foxes, but uh, kind of on the pale side. Got caught at the shoulder, so we also put them on the trailer and continue on. I'll uh, hopefully turn you on when we see something else. Hi everyone, um, we are still at uh, what I call the Jack Pine Express uh, bait site here and uh, picked up a coyote here. He was still alive. I um, had to dispatch him, so there he is. Kind of a nice uh, 
pale color and uh, I've never had this happen before in my life. I uh, caught him by the foot. I've had uh, catches when he gets his foot and head into the loop but uh, this was just a uh, straight uh, foot catch or leg catch so I uh, yeah I don't think he's been here that long so yeah he's a nice looking coyote. We shall uh, well, he's out of the ram. I'm going to have to uh, move this ram uh, further up the trail here. He's uh, he shredded it here pretty pretty good. So anyway, I had uh, another one slip through the loop um, just over there. Or didn't I don't know if he just pushed it aside or what have you. But should have had another coyote. But anyway, that's okay. We're uh, going to reset this and uh, we're going to go further on and uh, hopefully pick something else up today. Uh, I'm going to set a few more snares one spot there, my uh, coyote graveyard. I've been baiting it there so got a little bit of fresh snow so now I can see what's happening. We'll talk to everyone later. Hey there everyone, uh, we're still at um, Jack Pine Express. Uh, we're not at the bait site but uh, we're going down the trail here. I have a few blind sets here so this uh, trap had caught the Martin in uh, last week and the trap was closed and I don't know if it was a squirrel. I don't see any fresh Martin tracks by the tree but uh, not too... Uh, where are they now? There are some fresh tracks. Martin tracks here after the snow. I, I did see them but uh, yeah they're really great. Yeah, just right over here, they're uh, cruising along. Yeah, so trap was closed. I don't uh, I think it was the Martin who uh, closed the uh, uh, trap. I think it might have been a squirrel, just the way the triggers were bent. But when I was coming in here, I uh, had one uh, blind snare on, a, on the trail here, and looks like we did pick up Unfortunately, another fox, but uh, I guess the fox boards will be busy this year. I'm uh, kind of disappointed. Like I said, I, I was seeing more fox signs, so I'm uh, not too uh, surprised that I am catching some foxes here. So. And there he is, just up on the... Uh, Coyote sign here too. Maybe come check the fox out, but what have you? Yeah, there's lots of coyote tracks, everything here. So, and there he is. Yeah, he's expired. He's a really light-colored one, but. Um, Looks like a fairly fresh catch, so we shall remove him, and I'm going to have to uh, put this snare elsewhere, I guess. There's a lot of blood on the ground here, so anyway, we'll uh, turn you on if anything else shows up. Hi there, everyone. Well, it's been a pretty good day uh, here so far. I'm uh, still at uh, Jack Pine Express Trail and uh, Bait Site. And I've got two more snares left here, and I think I see some fur up ahead, which is good. I think this one's a coyote. So a beautiful day out here, and uh, it's taken some time to get through here, but that's okay. Just uh, resetting stuff, and uh, I should drop a few more in here. There's uh, quite a bit of activity. I think that snow uh, we had a couple days ago got things moving a little bit, eh? So anyway, we'll uh, I'll see what uh, this uh, coyote looks like. We'll just uh, take a peek at him. One, uh, this one is expired, which is good, so yeah, looks like uh, not, he's stiff, so he's been here for a little while, and uh, I guess I'll have to move this uh, uh, 
snare a little bit, a little bit elsewhere here. He kind of tore it up here, died on the trail. So that's okay. I'll move it. It'll take some time. Um, yeah, he's a nice looking dog. So we shall uh, remove him, reset it somewhere, and uh, keep going. Hey there again, everyone. Well, I have to admit that uh, old Jack Pine Express surely is a Jack Pine Express today. He uh, <coughs> producing. Looks like we picked up another coyote here. And uh, yeah, uh, this one, this one is not looking good. So it's got the uh, big patch of hair missing here. So. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll remove them, and uh, we'll uh, take care of them. Uh, unfortunately, that's uh, the way things go. So it's uh, yeah, been a good uh, location thus far. Anyway, so I uh, yeah, this is the last uh, snare on uh, on this bait and trail. So we'll uh, got another bait not too far from here. So we will continue on and see if we picked up anything. Good evening everyone. Uh, we are just uh, in the skinning room here tonight uh, trying to catch up on some uh, fur from this week. So I uh, got pretty much everything done I wanted to tonight. I uh, fleshed those three coyotes and uh, I have I just washed them out so I'm going to just let them drip dry a little bit before I board them. So I got those three foxes done and that Fisher from last week. It's kind of a, it's a female, uh, kind of a dark color, but uh, nice looking animal actually. And uh, coyotes actually they were all females. And uh, I think uh, the one on the right's got some nice coloring on her, so quite a bit of fat on all of them, but so uh, we got them done. And uh, foxes are done. Kind of, uh, we have really pale foxes so this. Uh, Part of the world here, so a couple of males and the middle one's a female, smaller one, so probably a young one. So one on the left is actually pretty good, uh, pretty good size and not too bad of a color and pretty thickly furred. So well, it's good. So yeah, we got a little bit done tonight, and uh, I'm gonna do another check in a couple of days. Uh, the weather's been really warm here, so. Uh, at least the uh, nights are uh, going into the minuses, so I'm not causing uh, too much grief for the animals. I haven't had any uh, birds picking or anything. Got uh, very little snow left here, so it's kind of uh, that's not really good. Uh, things aren't really moving because of the warm weather. Nothing's that hungry, and uh, just uh, from the sign, I've been noticing it's been it's been kind of uh, slow. So you're going to be uh, I think warm temperatures next week again, so I guess we'll have to grin and bear it and uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of snow sometimes and uh, some colder temperatures get stuff moving so those coyotes and foxes they kind of have free roam uh, not really establishing many trails because there's no snow so they kind of uh, come to the bait whichever way they please and whatever way they feel comfortable with so but uh, that's it for tonight so we'll uh, get these coyotes boarded and uh, hopefully uh, we'll uh, get some other fur next uh, episode or whatever, or uh, even this one. I'm going to check a few uh, snares and a few uh, Martin sets tomorrow, so we'll uh, see if anything uh, shows up. So everybody, take care, have a good night, and we'll talk to you soon. Good morning, everyone. Uh, like I said, i uh just going to check a few... Uh, snares and martin traps today and uh, first set we come to I think we pick someone up here this uh, log's been good to me over the years and uh, it looks like we have a what have we got here oh we've got a martin hanging here so oh he's uh, got pots uh, <coughs> really low must have been uh, going hard for the bait um, yeah, this particular set, it's uh, produced good over the years, Fisher Martin, I uh, 
should check my records to see how many I actually caught on this log. It's uh, it's been quite a few, so uh, bait's still there, but we'll uh, we'll refresh it. And uh, it's kind of a big Martin, but uh, it's kind of a lighter color, so that is okay. First set, uh, first catch. So we shall uh, move on. Got uh, a few more locations here, so. Hopefully we can pick something else up. We'll talk to you guys soon. Hey there everyone. Check another box here and uh, we got a two for one special. We got uh, two flying squirrels and one, one trap. So no Martin, no Fisher, but somebody's fighting for the bait. Good morning everyone. Checking some more sets here, and I uh, really didn't expect to get uh, this today. He is a big, big raccoon. Reached up and uh, got the bait. So, I, uh, yeah, the weather's been warm, so the raccoons have been uh, cruising around, I guess. So, this location I didn't expect. Uh, Kind of uh, buggered up my uh, trigger wires here, but straighten them out hopefully without crushing them. And uh, we'll rebate this. And uh, yeah, that's a big raccoon. My oh my, I'm not sure how much he weighs, but uh, he's pretty good. So, anyway, uh, Fisher Martin would have been better, I suppose, but uh, we shall take him and. Uh, Continue on checking some more sets. We'll talk to everyone later. Well, we're just uh, coming up upon another set here. Looks like we got an ermine hanging. Uh, I checked some coyote snares there. I should have took a video of, but uh, had some uh, pig feet for bait and uh, didn't catch any coyotes, but one of the snares was knocked over and there was a piece of, uh, or the pig foot beside the snare, so I guess uh, somebody got lucky today. So, yeah, it's a nice, nice big ermine. He got a piece of bait in his mouth, so it's warm enough, should be able to pull him out of here. So, that's really actually one thing I'm not seeing much of, which is kind of weird because usually the Martin traps get. Uh, jammed up with ermine before martins or whatever so anyway another ermine and uh, got one more trap to check and I think that'll be it for today